Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit this morning as I was driving along the grassy plains out here and just kind of looking at everything. Uh, you know, I keep thinking about food um, and the way we're eating and the way we're treating our bodies when we eat. And so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your mentality when you're actually eating your food and what you're doing and thinking when you're putting the food in your body. So what I do when I'm eating, I'm just going to tell you how I roll with this and what I do with it. I am literally talking to my food when I eat. So whatever's on my plate, I'm putting my hands over it and you can call it praying, you can call it meditating, you can call it a chant, whatever you want to call it. I'm just speaking good words to it. I'm asking the food that I am eating and putting in my, in my body to be a blessing to me. Whatever vitamins and minerals and content is there that is useful in my body, be it its highest benefit, and anything that's not beneficial to wash right out. I don't want it in my system. So, you know, thinking is an energetic being, is an energetic thought process, um, as food is energy, food is fuel to your body. It's got physical properties, it's also got energetic properties, just like we do. So I want you to think of it in tenses of that energy, and how can you speak words into that energy and actually ramp it up so that it's the most beneficial for your body in that moment with whatever's in the food that can respond to you. You know, thinking about it differently is always, always where we're gonna make a difference in our own lives, especially if you're stuck or if you're at a stalemate with what you're doing. When you start speaking to your food, it's going to start talking back to you. And people don't usually believe me when I say this, but go grab an apple. Go grab an organic apple. Go stand in the, in the grocery store for a minute. And in one hand, you're going to hold that apple. And before actually you pick it up, I just want you to feel your body. Just stand there in the aisle and just kind of feel, start at the top of your head and do a little body scan. Feel your body. When you get to the bottom of your feet, just kind of notice what's there. You're looking for pain, you're looking for any thoughts you may have, and you're just recognizing them. We're not doing anything with them, we're just recognizing them. Once you've done that, pick up that apple. With that apple in your hand, I want you to feel your body again. Just notice what you feel different. Some people will feel their body sway. Some people feel a difference in lightness or heaviness. Some people feel a difference in temperature. Some people feel a difference in... Um, just their mental attitude shift. It's very interesting all the differences that you may feel. So holding on to that apple, just notice. That's all I'm asking you to do is just notice. Now go get a Snickers bar. Hold that Snickers bar the same way you held that apple and do that body scan and tell me what you feel. All right, so we're noticing the difference between the two items and these are two really, really distinctly different things. And again, just noticing what you feel. We're not doing anything with it. I just want you to feel it and notice it. It's becoming aware, right? Sometimes the thought, um, we talk about awareness all the time, and some people just don't really get, well, what is it I'm aware of? Yeah, I'm aware I'm eating sugar, but are you aware of what it really feels like to your body? So become aware. Once you've held that Snickers bar for a minute and you feel what it's doing, I just want you to notice what the difference was, the difference between the apple and the difference between the Snickers bar. Now put them both down and just stand there again. Let that clear your system. We're gonna let that get back out of your body. Now I want you to pick them both up at the same time. Hold one in one hand and the other in the other hand. And kind of do like a scale. Feel the difference between the two. What do you notice holding one and the other? What do you notice? How does it make you feel? If you start to do this with everything you put inside your body, you will start to eat differently. It's going to force you into a different mentality of, wow, that really made me feel cruddy when I just touched it. What is it going to do physically inside my body, the energy of that thing, once I eat it? My question to you is, if you can do that, how much power do you really think you have? Can you actually alter or up the benefit of the good food you are eating just by speaking to it? Right? I am, and I've put out there before, I am a believer. I think God told us we can do greater things. Jesus said that right in the scripture and believe that don't believe that the energy is in the universe right and people talk about this kind of stuff all the time in context to religion or um, new age kind of idea whatever you want to look at it as it's still part it's woven into the universe it just is so how do you utilize it how do you grab hold of it and do something with it my thought is let's start with food Hold on to your food, see what energy you're feeling, and then let's see if we can shift its response in your body. 
And in regards to the good food, like it has to be good food that you're putting in. You want the good food in there so that when you're eating it and you're taking that into your system, the value of it by itself is, you know, by nature is gonna be good for you. But if you speak to it and get it active in your system and get active with the process, it's gonna make things different much, much more quickly. So just a word on the way, I hope you uh, take note of this. I hope it helps you. If you have any questions, please ask me. We can go into this in more detail. Um, and I'm sure I will be going through the course of this. I hope everybody has a lovely day. This is the sky in Denver today, just so you could see where I am. I wish I was closer to the mountains so you could see it. But beautiful here, love it. Have a good day.